when you read uh, Casino Royale or you watch the movie, you can immediately see what happened. And the casino scene, um, Popoff becomes James Bond. And Mathis, the man, the, the intelligent agent watching, is Fleming himself. Fleming, so he, he literally took the whole scene of what happened here and just recreated it for his novel. Even the hotels. The Palacio in Casino Royale is the Splendide. And, and the Hermitage is the Parquet, which I know is no longer here, but it was the Parquet Hotel. And the gardens are these gardens. And the fountains are these fountains. So everything was matched. Some people who had written um, books about World War II and they, and they were giving little tidbits of all the spies, they kind of portrayed him as this loose cannon playboy. And, and that's not accurate. I mean, was he a playboy? Yes. Was he James Bond? Absolutely. But he was more than that. He was extremely courageous. He was loyal to a fault. He would help people all the time. And, and there was one occasion when there was a Serbian um, person that he didn't really even know but was in dire need, Popov gave him his entire salary, um, gave, gave him the check that he got, that he received. Popov was in the, the um, Yugoslav Reserve Army, and Popov gave this man his, his check, and, and he didn't even know him. The only thing that haunted him was the fact about Pearl Harbor, that he had warned the FBI and Hoover in August of 1941 that the Japanese were going to attack Pearl Harbor, and Hoover buried it and did nothing. He didn't tell Admiral Kimmel at Pearl Harbor. He didn't tell the president. He buried all the information. And so immediately 2,000 people were killed during the attack. And they say that if, if we had been ready, it would have shortened the war by two years.